Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt here. Hope you're all doing well. God's doing big things in your life. I want to go over the most important topic that by far, by far, the biggest question I get asked is strumming. Strumming, is it, it's so tricky and I feel like so many people teach it wrong. I was taught wrong when I was younger and it wasn't until someone showed me the other ways when it really started clicking. So I really hope I can help you guys the first piece of advice, always remember strumming is about timing. It's not about patterns. As soon as you start thinking down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, your mind starts thinking, okay, I should have went up there and I went down. You're, you're kind of behind the eight ball before you even get started. So I want to give you a few exercises to work on. Another great piece of advice is picture your right hand like the drum, like holding the drumstick. Because again, it's about that timing. So what I want to do the first exercise is play no chord. You're just going to hold, hold your guitar and grip it right here. And with your strumming, with your right hand, start out just down strums and keeping a steady rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what you want going on in your head the whole time, a four beat count. So here's your first exercise. The second exercise, work on throwing in an up strum. One, two, three, four, up. And then the next thing you want to do is, again, playing no chords, just gripping the guitar. When you're going to go up, Move your hand somewhere else on the guitar. That that's gets you focused on this when timing and changing. Because again, you want to focus on that timing. Your right hand is like the drum. It's not about a pattern. So. Uh, Do different exercises. Practice different strumming patterns, there's your word, with your right hand. And practice, and practice different timings, so speed it up, slow it down, different things. And another exercise I highly recommend is work on strumming and adding a string with each strum. So for example, play say a D chord. And let's play it the way I play um, instead of your, well let's go, let's play, let's play the standard D chord. Okay, play your D chord and leave it locked with your left hand. Play just the bottom string and each time after you do a four beat count, add another string. So start out with just the bottom string. And then two. Then three. Four. Five. Six. Back to five. Four. Three. Two. One. This is a great exercise. Even working on Maybe doing a different rhythm, like a short, almost like a good palm mute with just uh, with putting your outside of your hand on the strings. Two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two. Often on a lot of my songs, what I will do um, when I'm in the middle of strumming. I will play, for example, on a G chord, play all six strings. But I'll after I play that first chord, I might just strum the bottom three or four. And this allows me to keep a steady strum going and so I'm ready and in the right position to do that next chord change. 
Because what I see a lot of beginners do, they're up here doing this real big strum, and then when it's time to go to a D, they're maybe way down here, and they can't get to it fast enough. So in their head, they know that timing change is ready to happen, but their body, their, their motion is too far away from the guitar to be, to be right there ready to strum again. So work on that exercise. Strum all the strings that are appropriate, say for a C chord, that way or that way, either way you want to play it. For a C, play all five on your first, but then just kind of play the bottom ones. So for example, on a four beat count, on your the one, the root, the, the first one, you're going to play all the appropriate strings. Afterwards, until the chord change, play just a few strings. advice I give you that I tell people all the time when I'm first trying to figure out a song I've got a song I heard on the radio heard in church wherever that you're trying to figure out start out just doing down choppy strums while you're figuring out because I'm not focused as much on the timing I want to hear the chords where the chords are at and so I'm just trying to figure it out doing small choppy um, just palm muting strums, kind of even a little bit quieter. I always say to my to my wife, she doesn't want to hear me messing up when I'm trying to figure out a song anyway, so I'm, I'm playing a little quieter. Hope this helps you guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Shoot me a message with any questions. Hope you get the strumming stuff figured out. And remember my favorite Bible verse. John 10, 10, for Christ came that we may have life, have it more abundantly. Hope you guys have a great day. God bless you.